Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sahara and in today's video I've got a massive haul for you guys. I've picked up some new makeup and some clothes in the last month. So if you want to see what unnecessary shit I have brought, then keep on watching. So first off, I'll start with the clothes and I recently did a big order from well not a big order, I recently picked up some new tops and some accessories from Boohoo and this took three weeks to get to me, I only arrived here yesterday so today is Thursday and it's been in Dunedin since Saturday and it only takes an hour to get to me from Dunedin so anyway my new clothes are here and this is the big bag that I've got so first off we have a Holly Crochet Lace Dip Fat Crop Top in the shade Red and I got this in a size 8 and this is it here and I've been eyeing up on these tops in, for a while and this was $15 on sale and I think they're usually about um, 40 and I can't see if you can see that and that is the back just a gold zip and to wear underneath that since it's quite see through I picked up the Roxy Basic Jersey Band Doe in a size 6 and sorry if you can hear the dogs this is it here just to wear underneath because I don't have any red bras and this is a like I said, a size 6 and this was $6 and everything was 50% off on Boohoo when I got this but they usually have some pretty decent um, sales so I love Boohoo but the quality can be quite hit and miss sometimes and, and I did get pretty much two of everything just different colours, I don't know why but I picked up this off the shoulder top and this is the Let Tie Sleeve Woven Bardo Top in the shade Blush and this was $15 and it's just got some short uh, short sleeves that come to um, my elbow and I really like this colour I hope it fits because it looks quite big This will look cute with some like white jeans or white ripped jeans and again that was the Colette Tie Sleeve Woven Bardo Top in the shade blush and it was five it was fifteen dollars next I have the this is the petite petite Bethany high neck crop top in a size eight and I got this in black and white just something simple to wear in my videos and that was five dollars and I think that is and New Zealand dollars too and this is just the black one again in a size 8 I usually go from a 6 to 8 up the top and I'm always an 8 in the bottoms and this was $5 as well next we have the Holly Crochet Lace Zip Back Crop in the shade white and this is a size 8 and again it was this one was actually $20 and it's just the same got the gold zip um, just really got these tops to wear in my videos and I actually seen Jordan Lipcombsby, I think that's how you say her last name, wearing the red one and she also got it from Boohoo so I really wanted that so I got both of these and again that was a size 8 and it was $20 and I'll leave her channel down below, she is awesome. And the last top I got is the same as that other off the shoulder top but in the shade white and again in a size 8 and yeah just elbow sleeves this one is quite see-through so you would have to wear uh, like a white bandeau top like the red one I got and yeah that is all the tops I got I just needed new tops to like wear um, going out and like for events and stuff and I also picked up this top here from the warehouse and it was eight dollars can't go wrong with a simple crop top and I also picked up the Boohoo matte lip kit and liner in the shade nude 
And I did swatch this on my hand yesterday, but I'll swatch it again. It kind of reminds me of Dolce K by Kylie Jenner. So that is the colour there. And it also comes with a lip liner. And I'll just swatch that too. Oh, that's nice and creamy. And that is it there. Nice shade. It'll be good for when I'm tanned. Um, I didn't really wear Dolce K, so I got rid of it. Um, but it did look nice when I was tan. It's like a nice cool tone brown. And I picked up two necklaces, well two chokers as well. The first one I got was the Thin Diamante Bling Choker. And that was $10. Oh, and that lip kit was $12. So just something simple. I really always wanted one of these dog collars. Um, so yeah, I got that. And I'll leave everything I got linked down below. So if you want to get it, it's easier for you to find. And the last thing I got from Boohoo was the Sweet Star Choker. If you can see. And this is the Elena Plated Star Charm Choker, and that was $5. So that is everything I got from Boohoo, so let's move on to the makeup. Got two Sephora parcels here, and we'll go with this first one. I got the Fenty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in the shade Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. That is the packaging, and... This is uh, what it looks like. And I have done a first impressions video all on this makeup. So I'll link it up in a card up here. Well, up here. And I'll also leave it linked down below if I can get into it. And this is the inside. So this is lightning dust and this is fire crystal. And now I would so pick this up. It is gorgeous. It is banging. Like... Banging. And I also just got the Pro Filter foundation samples as well. And if you are wanting to try the foundations, I might give this away to someone. So if you are wanting to try the Fenty foundations out, leave a comment down below and um, or DM me on Instagram at Makeup by Saho. And it's got the shades 150, 220, 340 and 420 and it also comes with the primer. And I was just looking at the Fenty Beauty Highlighter and it's like um, duochrome. I can't see. You can see that. And in the second parcel from Sephora, I got, I picked up the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in 140 and I'll show you. This is like the box. I love the packaging. On this. This is what the bottle looks like. And this is a pretty damn good match to me. I had trouble finding my shade, but I'm glad I picked it up because when I did, because it's all sold out now, but I think they might have restocked. And yeah, so far so good. I like this foundation, but I haven't fully worn it all day, so I have to try that out. And I also picked up the primer. And this is the Soft Matte Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. And this is um, like a pretty good damn size for a, for a primer. It is 32ml, so it's the same as the foundation. And yeah, I don't. I just needed a primer that wasn't pore filling because I haven't really like experimented with primers, so that's why I picked this up. And I also got some wee. Um, minis so I got the Sephora eye remover as well and I also got the tattoo liner from Kat Von D just the um mini size so I haven't tried this and so I'm excited to try this out you can see what next so I recently went to Life Pharmacy well I went to Dunedin on Sunday and did quite a bit well not quite a bit I picked up some new stuff um farmers had a 25% off sale so I picked up some things. So the first things I picked up were the Glam by Manicure Alessandra Lashes. I also picked up the Real Techniques um, Miracle Complexion Sponge. And this was $20 and was 25% off so it wasn't that. And I actually forgot to tell you how much the foundation and primer and the highlighter was from Fenty. And I'm pretty sure they are all $56. All three of them. $56 each. If I'm wrong, just look at the link down below and I'll tell you. I also picked up this metallic foil 
eyeshadow in the shade Call Me from Chi Chi. I just banged my hand. This is the packaging. So cute. These are just like the Australis ones. This one is a cool nude. It says, um, like the shade. Not the shade name, but like what the shade colour is. So that's cool. And I really like this, but... I just feel like they don't stay um, as well on my eyes. The last thing I got from Farmers was the Chi Chi Brow Pomade in Medium Brown. The box is trashed and I have used this in the video. This is the shade here. If you can see, that is the packaging. And I haven't really experimented with brow pomades, pomades too much. I have used the Anastasia one and the... MAC one, so I'm excited to try this one out and see how it goes. I went to like a wee $2 Asian shop in Dunedin and I picked up two of the Clean Colour Angelic Wink eyelashes in the shade 42 in the shade in the style 42 and these are the lashes I am wearing today. I actually really like these, they are like in between natural and dramatic so I definitely have to pick up these and I believe these were $4. And for the Chi Chi Brow Pomade, I'm sure it was 20 and for the Foiled Eyeshadow by Chi Chi was 12 Don't quote me on that. And I then went to Life Pharmacy, so here is the bag here. Foundation in Fair and I'll swatch this on the back of my hand because I'll show you that this is not fair. That is the colour there. And they do have a white foundation, so if you're any paler than this shade. Actually, I think this shade is the second darkest because porcelain was behind this. And it was definitely lighter than this, so. But anyway, if you're lighter, just grab the white foundation as well. And I believe that this foundation was $19 or $20. And I actually had a $10 off, so. Bargain! I haven't used that yet. Um... If you want to see me do like a first impressions on the LA Girl foundation by itself, leave a comment down below and I will do that for you. And lastly from Life Pharmacy, I picked up the Fasali Unicorn Essence and holy shit guys, I didn't even realise that they had these in Dunedin, well in New Zealand. And yes, Life Pharmacy is an official stockist of um, Fasali, so it's not counterfeit, it's not fake, so... And with the price, there's no way it's bound to be fake. This cost me $119. And I'll show you. It smells so, so damn good. And you can see it's pink. And this is more of a primer for your skin before makeup rather than an oil. I really want to pick up the 24 karat gold one as well, but... I think I might have to sell an arm and leg for that one. I'm excited to keep trying this out and see if it is as good as everyone raves on the internet. Next up, I did an order on Mecca, and Mecca is one of my favourite all-time makeup online makeup shops to shop at. They have Too Faced, Urban Decay, NARS. I picked up, the first thing I picked up was the Too Faced Hangover X Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. And this smells so good guys, like so good. This is the bottle here and it is coconut infused so that is why it smells. And it's silicon free, alcohol free and oil free and it is with coconut oil, probiotic based ingredient and skin revivers. And I'm yet to still try this out, I only used it in that first impressions video. And it did feel real um, refreshing on my face when I sprayed it. And yeah, so good. I'll keep you guys updated on this. And I only picked up two things from Mecca because there wasn't really much that um, I wanted, but I was looking for a deep purple um, liquid lipstick. And I picked up the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick in the shade Evil Twin. This is the shade here. You will see me wearing it in my first impressions video. I'll leave that video link down below. Oh my god guys, I am in love with this colour. This is like my new favourite, like, um, full colour, but we are now in spring, so I don't think it's appropriate to wear this, but I'll still wear it anyway. And that is all I got from Mecca, and last but not least, I picked up some stuff from Colourpop. Like, how cute is this box, guys? I love Colourpop's, um, packaging. 
cruelty free beauty that doesn't break the bank how cute so the first thing I picked up was the aquamarine crystal setting spray and you can get um like different birthstones of these so I picked up aquamarine because it is my birthstone and on the back it claims contains real aquamarine crystal coconut water apple extract for intense hydration olive oil derivative for a uh, dewy finish I probably butchered that word and Coralina Jesus Christ this is like way too many words for me I've never seen anyone um, talk about this on YouTube or Instagram so I had to pick it up well I didn't have to but I wanted to pick it up and this is what it looks like here and in my first impressions video you'll see that I fully got drenched using it and I'd say you have to have to spray it from real far away um, doesn't really have a smell I'm still yet to try it out and see how it goes if it makes my makeup last longer or not so I'll keep you guys updated in that and Colourpop is really inexpensive I think that might have been between six and ten dollars but that is USD dollars so make sure you always convert if you're buying on a US online makeup shop or anything from the US make sure you convert the um, end total because you'll get a shock in your bank account if you don't ex um, if you don't convert it because you're probably still thinking it's New Zealand but I think it's about ten dollars uh, New Zealand he's picked up the lippy pencil and mamacita from the I love Sarahi collection and it is just a deep purple as you can see I've used it I got this to go with that liquid lipstick because I don't have a lip liner this color and these are creamy AF guys like you'll see in the video like they glide on like anything I do have to say that they are a bit too creamy for me I'd rather have like a stiffer not too stiff but like that like is such a weird word like a stiffer um pencil so it doesn't like smudge all over my mouth and the last thing that I picked up in this gigantic haul was the no filter concealer in the shade Fair 5 this is the packaging of the box and this is the concealer I'll swatch it for you guys this is the um, lightest shade and it is good for my fair complexion right there first impressions I really liked this uh, concealer it reminds me of my MAC Pro Longwear concealer this is all the makeup and clothes that I've bought in the last month I really hope you enjoyed this video keep an eye on my channel to see me using these products a bit more and see if my first impressions change or not make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more hauls and make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video